Yes, welcome to Aussie Mail's Weave a Week. Um, we're doing Nid Hog today. Let me just do my little clicky click thing so I can make sure I'm seeing everybody. I'm sorry we're a couple of minutes late. Okay. Alrighty, there. Are... Okay, if anybody's watching, can you throw up um, a comment for me so I can see if we are receiving those properly. All right. Hey Sue, how are you? Glad you're there. All right, so I can see comments and everyone can hear me okay. Thanks, hi Ben, hi Ray, Diane, Donna. How are you lovelies? Alright, so as I said, we're doing um, knit hog today. Um, and we're um, demonstrating it in 14 gauge as usual. On the Aussie mailers page, wondering where to go. Well, not in the Aussie mailers, guys. It's an Aussie mail thing. Maybe someone can pop on and tell them for us. Oh, sure. <laughs> oh, okay. Apparently Mr. AM's on the ball, he's going to tell them. Okay, so um, Nidhogg, uh, 14 gauge 3 8 ID for the outside, 16 gauge 3 16 on the inside. That's what we'll be working uh, with no Working with um, tonight. I'll get this off my face and onto the good stuff, onto the mail, and um, we can start moving. Okay. All right, so I haven't got all my sample pieces ready. Um, it's been a very strange weekend for me. I don't quite know what it is. We do have a new kitty cat, so maybe having her in the house has thrown us all for six. But anyway, we will battle on. So this is the Nidhogg Weave here. This is the 14 gauge. So 14 gauge 3 8 AA on the outside, 16 gauge 3 16 on the inside. Um, I then did a sample piece of 16 gauge 9 30 seconds on the outside and 18 gauge 5 30 seconds on the inside. Now I'm not 100% happy with this size. There is a little bit too much movement in the large rings and they can pop out of weave, um, which they've done just here. So I went down to a slightly smaller size using a 7. I'm still not 100% happy with it. So because of that, although we'll be doing our um, tutorial giveaway, um, I haven't finalised it because I'm not happy with the sizes just yet. So there's a little bit more work to be done um, before we give that one away to you guys. But that's the 14 gauge um, 16 gauge and this little piece here is 18 gauge at 6 on the outside and 20 gauge 1 8 on the inside. So I'm still working on and finalizing all those pieces. The 14 gauge one works perfectly, sits nicely, doesn't pop out, looks great. It's almost perfect for the AR and uh, that's what we'll be demonstrating. Hey Michael and Shirley and Wes, how are you guys? Marion? Alright, so to start with we'll be using our 3 sixteenths. So in this case I'm using BA and you just make up um, a simple chain twice the length that you need it to be, basically. You can always just add on as you go along, so if you don't feel like um, making up such a long chain at the beginning, just make up, you know, a certain length and you can add to it later. Okay so we want to find the middle of this chain and in that ring pop a twist tie or some sort of holder, a paper clip, anything like that that you've got. Okay now taking up one of our big rings, our 3 8 we want to position these rings so that we've got, oh, being tricky. So that the first pair open up, the next pair sit against each other, the next pair open up. 
and it is fighting with me at the moment. Okay. So what we want to do is we want to replace this big ring through the first pair, encircling the second pair and coming through the third pair. So through the first pair that are opened outwards, around the second pair that are together, through the third pair that's opened outwards. And we close that ring. Uh, yes, yeah, Shirley, like Elf Weave. Okay, so your work just looks like that at the moment. We take up another big ring. And this time we want it to go through that pair in the middle, around the next pair, and through the following. So it looks like this. Can you see that? I'll get in a little bit closer. See if you can see that. So this time we're going through the second pair on top of the, the first ring we placed through the second pair, around the third, and through the fourth pair. Now remember, these are the rings that we had facing each other. Okay, sorry, I got distracted reading comments there. Who's burping? All right, so this is what our work looks like now. We're going to flip that over to the other side. We're going to add another large ring in. This time, oops, we're going to go through this pair of rings here that the last ring on top has gone through missing the next pair and weaving through these ones here. So I'm going to do it backwards, a little bit backwards because it's just easier. So through that pair there, up. Now when we go through here, this is where it gets tricky, we've got to go underneath. So we're going to go through the 3 sixteenths, but underneath the 3 eighths ring that was done previously. It's got to sit underneath each other, not on top. And once you've fed that through there, close her up. Okay. Now we take it back to the other side and we do the same on the other side. So this time the rings will be going through the two rings that the previous large ring went through, missing the next set and going through the following ones. So through those rings, up through the rings that the previous ring was, going underneath the previous large ring. Closing up. Hey Yvonne. Glad you're watching, love. Right, and that's basically it. So we flip back to the other side. This time we're going to be putting our large ring through these two here. The previous ring went through and down through not the next lot but the following lot, the first of this lot of loose rings. Okay, so through that loose, those two loose rings, up underneath the large ring and through the small rings. Okay, close it up. Okay, so what you want to be looking for, 
make sure you're doing it right, is this sort of arrow effect. So we've got them going up and we've got it going down, going up, going down. Make sure you keep that movement or that positioning in your piece. Okay, so on to this side, because you can see we've got our last ring up here. We want to put the ring, our next ring, through those same two small rings there. Skip the next one down through this, the next pair of loose rings. So through those. And through the previously used ones making sure we stay underneath the big rings. Closed up. And that's pretty much it guys, it's, it's not um, a difficult weave. It's pretty much just flipping it over and doing the same steps on each side. going through that first pair of loose rings, bringing it up underneath the big previous ring, through the small rings that are up there, and closing it up. It's not a nail. What do you mean? It's a pen. He's a pen holder. Actually, I don't know where the name originates from. Um, I'm assuming whoever came up with it, and I believe it was Melody Pershall came up with the weave. Um, I'm not sure where she got the name from, to be honest. Yeah, look, it's fairly easy. Um, once you get those first couple of rings in place, um, it goes well. Make sure that you have the, the chain positioned correctly. So have the first one going out, the next one's going in, the next one's going out. When you first position, you put your first ring in. Um, otherwise it uh, gives it a slightly different look. Other than that, it's a fairly simple weave to do. It does seem to be very size sensitive. It's not one of those weaves that you can just put anything into it. As I said, I'm not 100% happy with the sizes that I've tried so far. Um, I'm not sure that I'm going to, to get the perfect size and still be able to use the colored rings. Uh, we've got a little bit of, a little bit of um, uh, experimenting still to do there. Sorry, I'm trying to read uh, comments and weave and talk at the same time. Look, tomorrow the 9.30 seconds is okay. It just every now it slips out. Um, the 7 mil, which is slightly smaller, still has the same issues. I don't know whether to go up slightly bigger. I have seen a lot of people use the 9.30 seconds and are happy with it. Um, maybe it's just that particular colour, I don't know. Because uh, you definitely get different sizes in colours and things, so maybe, maybe it's just that particular colour is making it a little bit smaller. I have no idea if it sheets well, whereas never done it as a sheet. That'll be an experiment I'll let you do. <laughs> I'm not doing it very well though, Ray. <laughs> That's the problem. <laughs> All right, so just continue weaving like that, swapping your sides over, making sure you go underneath the previous big ring in on that side. Um, keep doing that all the way to the end. Bob's your uncle. Yeah, the smaller version is lovely. Um, I don't know about the 18 and the 16 gauge. I sort of feel like, I mean, sorry, the 18 and the 20 gauge. I sort of feel like the 20 gauge rings get a little lost in there. Um, maybe doing it in the same gauge 
might um, make those a little bit more noticeable. But I do, and I do actually like the 14 gauge, and I usually don't like the chunkier bracelets. I do like the 14 gauge, and the 16 and um, 18 gauge is lovely. I have also seen people do the same sizes in the 16 gauge, um, and they haven't dropped down to an 18 gauge in the middle. They've used the 16 gauge 530 seconds. Perhaps that holds it in place a little bit better. Um, like I said, though, that I still want to do a little bit of testing with it before I, I release. A tutorial but I will release one to you guys uh, just give me a few days and we'll get it all together. Nidhogg is the name of the weave Jane N-I-D-H-O-G-G -G. I think Kathleen said somewhere where is it I thought I saw somebody give an exploit uh, Catherine Jeff White suggested the name yeah some kind of Norse thing that's the all we know. Okay, so if you're interested in receiving a copy of the tutorial when it's done, um, let me see, since it's Easter, can we, let me see, tell me if you like dark or milk chocolate. Let's see what everyone's preferences are and I'll get a copy of the tutorial out to you um, later on in the week. So dark or milk chocolate. <sighs> What's the weave you're having a problem with, Ray? Oh yeah, where's I love white chocolate. Man after my own heart there. Candy egg girl. Oh, okay, fair enough. I used to always get candy eggs when I was a child. I don't have, I don't eat them very much now. Okay, so I'll just continue weaving along. Vipera berus. Okay. Well, I can cert I'm, I'm certainly willing to take suggestions for lessons or demonstrations. Um, we can pop that one on the list. Now, one thing we're also thinking, and we're still in the planning stages at the moment, we're just nutting this idea out, is perhaps putting together a Saturday Nighters Club where um, you guys will get... Uh, obviously for um, a cost and, and these haven't all been worked out yet but we would send out the kit um, to you guys in advance hopefully unless you're overseas and then you may not get it so you'd have the full kit and all the tutorials ready for Saturday night and this is something that we would send out to you weekly um, you would subscribe to it um, as I said, we haven't worked all the details out yet, but we sort of thought we might float the idea past you guys tonight if you'd be interested in, in perhaps subscribing to something like that where you get all the rings and everything um, sent to you so that you can weave along if you like. <laughs> yeah, we do have a... A, a Viperiberis kit. I'm happy to demonstrate it for you, Ray. Um, there's, there's no reason why we can't do that. So, love the idea. You guys like the idea of, of starting a Saturday Nighters subscription club? Yep. Cool. All right. As I said, we're still in the planning stages. We're trying to work out how we can do this, especially for our overseas people, our New Zealanders especially. Um, we've got to look after our Kiwi cousins. Unfortunately, I'm not sure that we'll be able to get the kits to, to you guys in advance, but we would certainly get the kits out to you. Um, 
I just thought it might be a nice way for everybody to, to have the rings there if they want and yeah and, and to have the right right sizes on hand. Um, I think it'll be I think it's uh, you know, we're pretty excited about it being a great idea. Uh, we just need to work out a, a few a few issues. Okay, so does anybody else need me to go over the weave at all? As I said, it's pretty straightforward. As I said, just make sure that you have your chain. Um, when you fold it in half, you have outside rings going out, rings going in, rings going out. Yeah, where's it? It'd be lovely if I was actually, you know, a couple of months um, organised. <laughs> that would look really well. Okay, right. Well, look, as I said, we'll do that for you. Um, we may even do it next week. I don't have anything planned at this stage. So um, I'll throw um, Vipera Veris up next week and uh, we can go with that, especially if you've got the kit already there. So you'll be able to, to weave along with us. Okay, so you guys would prefer to receive a month's worth of kits. Are you actually going to hold on to them though and, and not weave them until the demonstration happens? Because if that's my concern about sending out so many in advance that um, you're going to do them all prior to the demonstrations and it sort of negates the whole idea. I can see it being benefit to Daryl, to you guys in New Zealand, getting uh, several in one go. Yeah, well, where's our original idea was to send them out weekly so that, um, and then you guys would have them for when we actually do the um, demonstration. Um, People are requesting that we send out four in a go, and I'm just thinking that you know that you guys might actually go through them before the demonstration, which you know is fair enough. You've got them, um, but that sort of scraps the whole you know Saturday nighters idea. You definitely wait. <laughs> well, you guys have got more self control than I've got because I wouldn't be able to wait. <laughs> <laughs> are there enough weeks to do one weekly yes so there are certainly enough weaves to do one weekly is whether I've got the staying power <laughs> yeah obviously the postage costs would be less because we can mail out several kits for probably the same cost as one kit um, because we use the satchels. It would be cheaper to do several in advance. So I mean it's it's something to um, to think about. Um, we're happy to get all your guys feedback so that um, you know we can we can do something that you guys want to do and, and make it useful because you know if you guys don't want to do it then there's no point in going ahead with it. We just thought it'd be a great way for everybody to, to have the rings there. Yep, okay. All right, well, look, we'll consider it. As I said, we're still only in the planning stages, but we thought we'd mention it tonight and see what you guys thought, see if you were keen for it. Um, you know, we think it's a great idea, but um, as I said, we're still... We're still um, not quite there and it will take a little bit of organising on my part to get it all organised in advance. Um, right now I'm sort of like, oh yeah, I'll, I'll let you know in a couple of days and, and I scrabble around looking. I've got a list to go through but I, I don't always pick which ones I'm going to do. All right. Well, I hope you guys all have um, a safe Easter and that you get lots of yummy chocolate or milk or white or candy eggs. Um, and if no one else has got any questions,
for any comments. How are we enjoying the group? I noticed that some people have been posting in the group. You'd like surprise kits, just the rings. Loving the group, yeah. I haven't had much to to do in there today. I've noticed there's been some posting going on, but I haven't had haven't had time to grab to get in there. Uh, yes, Wes, we do gift certificates if that's what you're asking. Yeah, well, a little organising. Yeah, it is a lot of organising, but um, you know, it's what I like to do. All right, so again, you know, with the group, it's just new to us as, as it is to you guys. So if you give, want to give us some feedback, and you don't have to do it in a public forum, you can send um, some feedback to us privately. Uh, let us know if we're, we're doing something wrong, if you're unhappy or you're happy or you think something should be added. It, it, it's your community. So please let us know and we will do our best to to make it a great place for everybody. Um, early days at the moment, but it, it looks like it's going great. Okay. Yeah, no, we can do birth certificates, uh, birth certificates, gifts, <laughs> reading birthday gifts. <laughs> we can do gift certificates, Where's that's no problem at all. Uh, they do get emailed out. They're not, um, we don't do printed ones, but um, they all work. Yeah, there's been some lovely pieces shown in the group, hasn't there, Donna? And everybody seems to be friendly which is nice. I'm sure as the group grows there will be a few hiccups but so far it's been, you guys have been really great. Thank you Cindy, happy Easter to you too. How do you get all those cute little emojis up there? Look at them all, little chickens and rabbits and... Hi Rowena, I didn't see you come in honey. Happy Easter to you too. Alright guys, well I think we've got that down pat. I will get that tutorial out. Give me a few days to just play around with the sizes a little bit more and um, I'll get that out to you as soon as I can. And we will work on the subscription thing. Uh, maybe there might be a couple of different options that we can we can offer people. So everyone have a great Easter. Uh, for those that have got the time off from work, enjoy it. Those of you like me who will still be working, Happy, happy Easter you as well. Chin up. All right. Thanks, guys. Take care, and I shall catch you next week. Cheers. Bye.